the dock here at Corner Bay. I'm gonna drive the telehandler up to the sawmills today. So that's our K686G telehandler. That's been a great machine. We've had it for a really long time. Uh, solid boss tires. We've had these for almost 10 years. Look at that. They just, I mean, you know, we use this thing a lot. I mean, maybe not like a, like it would get used on like a construction yard and they don't drive on pavement or anything, but I mean, we use this machine all year long. So that's solid boss, solidboss.com. Those tires are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start up and uh, head up here to the sawmills and cut up a couple spruce logs if all goes well. Okay, go ahead and drive up to the sawmill. Got all ready to buck this nice little spruce log here and realized I was out of saw gas. So take a short walk up to the mills and get some gas and some oil. Don't have my dog with me today. I miss that little guy. All right, well, mix up some saw gas. So we're fueled up and we're gonna go ahead and buck a just an eight foot log off this nice spruce tree. This is uh, one of our standard second growth spruce. So these are uh, about 55 year old trees, uh, selectively cut, sustainably harvested, eco-friendly, completely renewable resource. Uh, these are just the, the greenest thing you can do. The greenest timber you can build with is this second growth spruce in my area. So I'm gonna go ahead and buck this log. It's about 22 inches. Diameter, 24 inches, um, should be a nice one. You should run a little better with gas. Just a short funny story about this saw. This is a 046 Magnum. It's one of my very favorite saws. I found this in a ditch. My dad and I just found it in a ditch out here at Corner Bay. There were these tree thinners that had worked here the year before and they just kind of threw all their stuff in the ditch when they left and this power head was sitting there with no bar. It started right up out of the ditch. It needed a couple parts. I think it needed like a clutch or something but that over 10 years since it's a great saw so we're gonna go up and uh throw this little log on the mill and make some boards
All right, well that was great. We got all the wood we needed to finish my uh, back deck roof project. So I'll make a little video tomorrow of uh, framing and uh, sheeting this back deck roof. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos of us harvesting timber, milling it into lumber, and building homes and cabins across Southeast Alaska, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thank you so much. Here's our yield out of that log. We got nine perfect two by six by eight foot. And we got three one by four. Just beautiful. I need to get 12. Okay, here's our yield. Okay, here's our yield from the two spruce log sections we milled out of that tree today. We got 14 two by sixes and a nice number of one by sixes. Um, 14 of them too. That's funny. And 12. So beautiful lumber. It's a great little package to build this roof that I'm working on. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up with the telehandler here and bring it down to my boat. Cross the inlet through the small storm and we can call it a day. And tomorrow we'll be building. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see us doing more of this kind of work and building houses with timber that we harvest and mill ourselves from the Tongas. Thank you so much.
here is my boat. 26 foot shamrock with a nice little load of lumber. And I'm all loaded up. I'm all finished up for today. So just gonna go pick up my last tote from the top of the dock and head home. Thank you for watching. This episode of Second Growth Home. Our next episode we're gonna be up logging yellow cedar with my dad and my uncle. And we're gonna be using a really cool antique saw that my dad just got and uh, I got running. So please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our logging and lifestyle wildlife videos here in uh, Southeast Alaska. Thanks for watching. Well, here we are, home at the dock in Tenneke and got all the material we need for a great day at work tomorrow.